Hello and welcome to the Advanced Elementor Facebook group live case study. And today we're here with uh, Clifton Kennedy. And he's going to talk to us today about how he uses Elementor with custom post nights and uh, ACF or advanced custom fields to create custom fields and how he will uh, show us how to build that out um, in person. Hey, Clifton, why don't you give us a little bit more information about yourself and where we could find you? And then go ahead and jump in and get started. All right. Hey, everybody. My name is uh, Cliff Kennedy. Um, I'm from Greenville, South Carolina, and um, I'm a web developer, and I, um, I run a YouTube channel, and uh, a small agency. Um, it's just me. So, um, But my YouTube channel is WP Cliff Notes, and I'm pretty sure we'll have all that stuff in the uh, show notes. So um, you can check me out there and find all the find all my tutorials there. Great. Why don't you go ahead and jump in and get started? Okay. So you want me to go ahead and share my screen? Yeah. yeah. So um, let's see. Desktop. There we go. All right. Um, let's double click that. There we go. And um, so kind of in this talk, I am going to uh, um, talk, like I said, talk about ACF and Elementor. And um, the plugins that I'm going to be using, of course, is Elementor and Advanced Custom Fields and um, Custom Post Type UI, which is a pretty famous um, custom post type plugin. And then there's this little plugin called L Custom Skin, which pretty much what it does is it creates the loop. It lets you create a custom loop item. Um, and I'll talk more about that when I get to that point. So, um, so let's get on to creating the custom post type. Um, so right now I, I have the plugin installed, the CPT uh, UI plugin, and I've already actually created the post type. I've created a couple in here, but we're going to be using the testimonial plug-in. Um, so if anybody's used this before, it's pretty self-explanatory, but first of all, you um, tell it what the name of the custom post type is. You do the, pl the plural name and then the singular name. And then there's a lot of extra um, things you can add to it. I hardly ever use this, but in this case, I did say um, add testimonial because if you don't put something like that, um, it, it just says add new. So I wanted to make it a little bit more customizable. Um, and then I scroll down past all of this and I always, always make sure that my custom post types are hierarchical. That word is so hard to say. <laughs> But um, I always make sure that is set to true. And then you can, you can um, add a menu position if you want to, which um, basically that'll tell it where over here to add the custom post type. And I'm really not gonna worry about that because I don't really care. Um, you can um, tell it what parts of um, the editor that, that you want it to show and in this case I uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the title I'm gonna use um, I don't really care about the editor um, but and I want the uh, um, the featured image and also you can set a um, menu item which are these things right here and um, I'm gonna use a dash icon which is um, you can go, that's something I did not put in the, in the, my, uh, in here, I can add it. But if you go, if you just look up dash icons, you'll find, um, all of these and it's part of actually wordpress.org. So, um, we'll go back over here and then that's pretty much all I'm going to put in the custom post type. So, um, you just hit save. 
and and then you come over here and you'll see your post type and you can see where I customized this area to say add testimonials um, and so next what I usually do is I add advanced custom fields which I've already added as well so you can actually go into your install plugins and all you have to do is say add new and then type advanced custom fields and I'm using the um, I'm using the advanced custom fields pro version but all the fields that I'm going to be using for this tutorial are in the free version of advanced custom fields I tried to keep this um, this example as free as possible <laughs> So nobody had to purchase plugins except I think the only purchased plugin that you will need is Elementor Pro because of the dynamic feature. So um, you do have to have Elementor Pro. And like I've heard everybody say, if you don't have Elementor Pro, then what are you thinking? <laughs> so um, it's super cheap. So um, over here it adds this custom fields area. So you'll just click here and you'll want to say add new, but I've actually already created it. So we're going to hit edit it, edit. And I've only added three fields to make this super simple. Um, so some, so everybody can create this if they want to. So basically this is going to be a um, testimonial uh, video testimonial. So um, we're going to use, we're going to have a title, which is, we're going to use the name and the um, featured image for um, their net, of course, their name and their um, their image. And then the title is going to be like the title of their position. And of course, the testimonial video URL, which of course can be hosted on um, YouTube or Vimeo or, um, and then um a short quote so i'm all and to get this to show up on the um, post type you want to make sure that in this area of locations and actually i'll go ahead and open up all these fields so you can see that too um but in this um area you want to set this to post type and then says it's equal to the testimonial uh, post type um, and then there's a bunch of other settings and I, I hardly ever mess with these um, but you can actually this right here sometimes I I, um, I use this area but you can exclude um, different areas of the standard WordPress editor um, by checking these boxes right here um, but I'm just going to leave them all on the page because a lot of them, um, won't even show. So, so quick question for you. Did, I, one of the things I like to use with this is uh, position because these in a lot of ways are, mm -hmm. they're going to be hard to find if they're, if they're not properly placed in particular, I like yeah. to place them on top because if, mm -hmm. for example, you have an SEO plugin that SEO plugin may actually end up being before your fields in some cases, which yeah, get a little confusing. And, yeah. And sometimes I, I do that. And so I, I have noticed that if you were to hide the content editor, if you're not using it, if you're using 5.0, it won't hide it. And so, um, I think that's something with Gutenberg. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So if you want to hide the editor, then you'll want to install the classic editor plugin. Um, well, and make sure that your post type is set to only use the classic editor. Yeah, of course. And so, but in this case, um, I'm, I'm using Gutenberg. I haven't installed the classic editor plugin. So um, I'm trying to get used to Gutenberg. <laughs> so Good for I'm you. <laughs> around as much as possible. Um, so, um, yeah, so you can you can do this um, say as high after title because that will anything that a plugin adds to the custom post type it will put all the custom fields above. So um, we will change that to 
high after title. That was a good good point out, Mike. Um, and so we're going to update all this, and I will show you what fields that I have used for this. Um, for the title, um, all I did, all I used was a text field, and it has a lot of different things. So if your client were to, um, you could say, this is a placeholder text, so you could actually type title right here. You could put a default value. You could prepend this with. Yeah, maybe like you mentioned, this is supposed to be like, for example, job title. So you might put job title. Yeah. They might be like title. Yeah, you might title put of the job way. title right there. Yep. You can do that. Um, and then you can limit this character. You can limit the characters that they put in here so they don't put like 10 million characters in there or whatever. Yeah. Um, if a short quote is, is 40,000 characters, for example. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, you can do that. And so the next one is a, um, it's also a text, a text field, but I'm going to change it to a URL. So people will have to put a URL in there. Um, I put these fields together pretty fast, so I didn't change, I didn't put that as a URL, but um, you can change this. And there's a ton of different fields in here that you can use. Um, I think the ones that um, that Elementor has trouble with are the pro, ver the pro features um, of ACF. I, I've had some trouble with the repeater, or trying to get the repeater to work, and um, the, uh, um, what else? The group field, I think I had some trouble with. Of oh, the tab. Accordion? Works. Yeah. I think the accordion does work actually. Oh, nice. Um, I'm not, not quite sure yet. I haven't tried that yet. Um, but I, I'm 99% sure that all of these work. So, um, you could actually change this to an O embed field. Um, and it would actually show the video that you, uh, that you, um, the URL of the video, it'll show the, the screenshot of the video, which, um, so, and then this is just a, a WYSIWYG. And so people can, and I think we, um, there's one thing about the WYSIWYG is you can't limit the fields. I don't think you can't limit the characters in a WYSIWYG. Um, so you would probably, if you wanted to limit the characters, you would probably have to change that to a text area which I don't like using a lot. Yeah, character limit. So we could we could put 140 right there if we wanted to, um, to limit it. Like, and, and then we'll update. So while you're uh, moving over to actually showing us, what are the reasons why people would want to use ACF and, and the custom fields like this, as opposed to just adding this content directly into Elementor? Um, so I find sometimes clients, um, get confused if they don't, if they don't know what they're doing. And so what ACF allows you to do is it allows you to just put the fields that the client needs to fill out. And so instead of making them hit edit with Elementor and, um, and then try to find where they're going to change the, change the content and then them accidentally screwing up the whole design. So it kind of protects, it kind of protects you and as a designer and it protects the client from messing up your um, yeah. content. So, so you don't end up getting a call like, Hey, I, I completely, or not. I completely the typically would say is, Hey, your design is completely messed up. What did you do? And instead, yeah. you know, you're, you're forcing them to, to instead use editors with clear demarcations of what the values are. And they don't have to worry about the design. The design has a nice, yeah. consistent UX that comes with it. Uh, and they don't have to, to worry about, am I going to mess something up in Elementor? Yeah. Nice. And that's, that's kind of why I like to use it. Um, I did find this, and you might know this too, um, that you that Elementor has a role feature where you can, um, 
where you can restrict certain um, roles from uh, messing up your design too. So I did find that out the other day when I was playing around with the roles features. Yeah. So specifically, you're talking about, for example, you can actually set a certain role to only be able to edit content and not yeah. layout. Yeah. yeah. So you can you can do that too, um, but in this case, I just love ACF. So. Yeah. Plus that. I mean, if you think about it, that that's nice, but. In a lot of cases, you may need to let them have, for example, they may want to have some level of capability over uh, new pages or new blog posts, but they don't want to mess up, you know, things that are crafted and are, a, for example, a custom post type where yeah. you may not have that necessarily. So I, I would love to see better use of or, or more granular capabilities of the Elementor role capability. Uh, for those situations where we could say, for example, on this post type, they can use or they cannot use uh, anything except content. But on this post type, for example, blogs, they can go ahead and use Elementor to their heart's content. Yeah. Even then, I would yeah. prefer that they didn't. But, you know, what do I yeah, know? Yeah, that would, that would be nice. Yes, um, yes. Yeah, it would be really nice. So... Um, now we're, the next thing that I want to show you guys is we're going to use this uh, L custom skin plugin, um, and you can install that of course by going to the plugins area and type in L custom skin. Um, and what that does is it puts a if you go to templates, go to theme builder. I haven't heard of this one before. This uh, yeah, I'm, I'm interested good. to learn. Yeah, so um, it uh, it puts this tab right here that says loop, and um, if you go to their if you go to their their WordPress page, it says it says that it hadn't been updated of the last three versions of WordPress, but that was only it's been, it was updated six months ago, so it works it works great even though it says it hadn't been updated in the last three versions. Um, but this is a free version. You got to remember there. It, if you use Jet Engine, which I love, Jet Engine, the Croc, the whole Croc Block um, plugin, um, they they have the same type of thing in there. But I'm trying to do this as free as possible, so everybody can do this without having to pay for a plugin. So I found this plugin, which is super cool. So what we're going to do is click on the tab and as you can see I've I've already created three different um loops here and so I'm going to hit edit with elementor so while that's coming up what what is the difference between this and a single which includes the loop in certain things um where are, you, are we going is that going to be self evident as we go ahead and build things out so the single, I'm not even using the single for this. I'm just, all I'm doing is building the loop element. So basically, um, what we're going to do here is build, actually, I thought I already had this built out, but um, I'll, that's, I'll just build it out what, right here. So um, basically, I actually already have a template built. Um, that's great. Go ahead and use the template. Yeah. So um, we're going to, it's called video testimonials and I built it out to look like this, but we only need one of these because it's the single element of the, um, of the loop itself. So oh, there it goes. So we really only need one of these and it looks super huge, but um, that's okay because once we get it inside the loop, um, it will be just fine. But basically what this is going to be is a video element. So, and I already have a, a video in here, but um, I'm going to use the dynamic feature and we're going to hit video URL. And so, um, 
when again you have to have the pro version of um elementor to get this dynamic little link right here and as you can see you can do a lot of things with this dynamic um element so but as you can see there's since we have acf in, installed um it has the, it recognizes that there is an ACF field that can go right here and a URL field that can go right here. So I'm going to click the URL field and then you'll click this little wrench and you'll go down here to, um, oh shoot, why isn't it? Okay, did I save when I was, whoops. I was hoping, let's see, let's go back to custom fields, make sure, make sure that, that I have this saved. Uh, so it should be showing that. Oh. Yeah, so maybe, you, maybe this is one of the fields that you can't use, is the O embed field. Well. So we're going to change it back to a URL field. There's some fields, like I said, there's about 90% 90, 90 of the fields you can use, and then there's those few that you can't. So um, we're going to hit update here, because I changed a few of these when I was walking through it. Um, and I'm going to change this one back to what I had it, because I know that works. So um, I'm pretty sure the text area uh, would work too, but... Welcome to live. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the uh, yeah. So let's go back over here, and I'm gonna make sure I publish this. And, and yes, so while we're here, um, you want to make sure that you do the single. And this is where the singular comes into play. Uh, is what you were talking about, and then you want to make sure. Um, you hit, not team members, we want to make sure that it's testimonials. And then we hit save. So now, correct me if I'm wrong here, but what that does is that means that this template will show up for every single, single view of a testimonial. Not the list of testimonials, but every single view of a testimonial of a video testimonial will show up like this right here, correct? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And so, so we're going to click on this video element and now um, I need to refresh this. So, let's see. There it goes. And that's just so it picks up your change from the OM bed to the URL, right? Yeah, that's all this does. And so it should, there should be a URL. There it is. Yep. So the O embed um, will not work for some reason. Um, it won't show up in the, the key area because, um, and then the title is going to show up. So um, that's good for the URL. And then we're going to come down here to the image overlay and I'm going to use the featured image um, because that's where I'm pulling the image from. Now, is this actually an image overlay or is this kind of the placeholder image? They call it an image overlay, but it is like a placeholder for the video. Like the video sits behind it and, um, and then the image overlays the video until they hit play um yeah and the other one i like to mess with here is oftentimes that image is giant so i like to make sure to choose a size that that's relevant to what i expect to see yeah in place yeah you can um you can hit 300 by 300 i think that'll be yeah that'll probably work um we're gonna have this open in a light box so we want the video to open up in a light box. Uh, we want the play icon and we want to lazy load the video. Um, that way your page will load faster. 
Um, so we're going to hit update just to make sure everything's saved. And my mouse is, there it goes. And then for this, we're going to um, choose dynamic. And this is, like I said, I might have said this, this is going to be pretty re repetitive if you have a lot of fields. Um, but it's worth it. So now we're going to use the short description right here. And in this little single area, you're, um, you can show the dynamic content by going, let me move my computer because it's covering up my other screen. Um, you can come over here to this. It's the little um, gear icon. And then you hit preview and we're gonna go to testimonial and we're gonna preview I think I have one called Jimmy John <laughs> um, and then we're gonna hit apply and it should show if I have content for this guy yeah here we go so hopefully this this shows up circle if it's correct and, and so we're gonna this is the testimonial um, part of the testimonial area and because I'm using a, a testimonial widget here and I'm not using this image because um, I mean you could you could pull the featured image if you wanted to and have it there too but that's kind of repetitive if you ask me so um, I'm not going to use that but for the dynamic quote um, I am going to use an ACF field and we are, I think I already showed this to you. Um, yeah. So, yep. And then for the name, we're going to go, let's see. Name. Oh, you don't have a field for the name, do you? Or, oh, you're using um, the post title. Yeah, I'm using the post, the post title. So it should show up Jimmy John and then... Uh, for this, we're going to go to ACF, and we're going to use the um, title. And that should be all for the fields, because it's pretty, it's pretty easy, or pretty, we only have three fields. So um, we're going to update that. And then make sure I have three testimonials just so oops, I want to save that publish. Oh, I didn't add some of these don't have all the content. Um, you can say um, CFO, I guess. I'll just enter this content while we're here and we'll call this guy Jim Brown. Oh. That, oh, that's the video. Sorry. Um, uh, I had my YouTube channel up, so hopefully I can pull a video from there. Or we can just use their sample video. I think there's... Let's see. And then we'll come... And we'll add one paragraph. Hopefully it's not too long. That's more than 100. So we will put... Um, and uh, yeah, the video. So I'm going to click over here to my YouTube channel and grab a video right quick. Um, so let's pause this right quick. While you're, while you're bringing that up, you have actually uh, a little kind of mini series on doing this as well on your YouTube channel, don't you? Yes, I do. Um, it's I'm trying to get the last video up as we talking right now. Um, I um, I have a third a third video in the series, and um, I just haven't been able to edit it. So it's um, the, I, I feel like editing is the hardest when you have a YouTube channel, especially if um, <laughs> you know I I had to learn editing on my own, so. Um, that's where I guess that's where I struggle the most 
And so I hear you there, brother. I hear you there. <laughs> yeah. When it comes to being a YouTuber, that's, that's the part I've struggled with the most. Um, but I think I've actually found myself an editor. So that's kind of nice. All right. So we're going to update. We have all the fields updated. So we're going to update. And then we're going to hit all testimonials. And so, yes, I have three. So that's great. Um, and what can we go into one of those and see what you, yeah. what you did to edit those real quick? Yeah. Okay. Let's go to testimonials. So all I did is I didn't even use this editor. I just used the name field. The, um, oh, this one doesn't have a image. I'm glad you made, you said something. Huh. There we go. Uh, um, yeah. So I'm going to use this lady right here. And then um, her job title. Wow, she didn't have a job title yet. We'll say designer. Um, and then the YouTube video, the URL, and um, – and then the short description. And just so we're clear, that URL could be literally any URL. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, well, for this loop, I actually um, told for the, um, the loop element. It has to be ultimately a video link, right? Yeah, it has to be. It actually has to be a YouTube video because okay. that's what I told the uh, video element that it was going to be. And I'm glad you pointed that out because I think earlier I said Vimeo or YouTube. But um, for this specific one, it has to be a YouTube video. Um, I guess I could actually. I, uh, I let's could actually let's move forward. There's yeah, People should know there's an option to, to do yeah. both ways, but I think you're, you're good. Yeah. So in this element, in this case, it is a YouTube video. Um, so, yeah. That's the ACF fields, which we can close. Close this. I don't need it. And then that's this element. So that's actually where you can tell it the video. This is specifically your loop, right? Yeah, this. Yeah, this part is right here. So this is the actual loop element. Um, and so now I'm going to go to pages because I, I want it to be on a specific page. So no, you're going to place the loop on a page that is for rendering your testimonials or yeah. is it uh, correct? Right? Would you want to put testimonials in all kinds of pages? How, how are you kind of doing? That? Can. And that's, yeah. So I'm going to just put this on a regular page. Um, uh, but you can put this pretty much anywhere. Um, so I'm going to hit edit with elementor. That may be why the, uh, using the loop is key, right? Cause you're actually yeah. embedding a loop within a page that may not have a loop or at least yeah, you may so, not be in the loop or maybe loop within the loop per se. Yeah. So, and, and to make this, these loop elements show up, all I'm using here is the post, um, the post widget or the post module. And when you throw this in here, you're going to see just your classic, you know, blog post. But as you can see right here, it says skin. And if you click this down to custom, it brings up this little area that, and then you can pick from the, the loop that you created. So if you have multiple loops here, like I do, um, I'm going to pick the testimonial loop and then it should pop in oh you have to go that's right you have to go here and tell it that you want to use the testimonials from your sources yeah that's the important one yeah and the reason these aren't um as you can see this one this testimonial right here doesn't have an image it's got that actually yeah it does because i put that in there um these aren't square so if you want these to look really good um, you need to make sure that these images are square because they're circle, um, because it's a circle. And then when you pretty much 
um, you hit update and then preview the page and you should just have to press um, that and your video pops up and and that's for I mean that's how it works I mean it's once you understand um, that you have to create so now, a post type oh go ahead no go ahead sure so what you it seems like what you could do here is actually save this this section as your kind of testimonials template section right yeah, it's, you could then drop into any page uh, or frankly post or even a template where you wanted to to show your um, your your testimonials as a group of three and or you know and go from there yeah and if you wanted to so for example um, if you have more you can change that if you had more columns you can change the columns here um, you can change how many and then, posts per page and um and if you just if you wanted to put some pagination in here you can do that and this is like i said this is just a standard post module so there's no special module that you need to use um to make this show um so it's just um and i'm using that l custom scan plugin which is a, a free plugin um and I'm using the custom post type UI and I'll just pull this back up and kind of talk through it. Um, so I'm using Elementor advanced custom fields to create the custom field, um, the custom fields that we're going to use for the um, job title, the video URL, and the um, short quote. And then the custom post type, of course, to create the post type so you can add um, different testimonials. And then the L custom skin plugin um, to create single element, the loop element, which is um, the vit uses um, the, uh, is this right here? So you've got your video element in and um and you've got your testimonial and you've got your name and you've got your your job title so this is in essence this is a testimonial post and at this point you have three you might have 30 and yeah. then you could for example change pagination so people could see more or you could have it even auto kind of slide through you could do all sorts of fun stuff with this because this is now essentially just a uh, a post type that you can use with any of the dynamic post type uh, setups with Elementor, right? So yes. anywhere you can drop a post type, you can now drop in your uh, your testimonials. Yep, and you can drop this like like you said earlier. You can drop this on a page, a post, uh, I uh, I mean anything. You could you could put it anywhere. Yeah, so it definitely doesn't have to be the testimonials page. This could be your home page, and you can drop yeah. this in right there. Great. Yep, yeah, you you could drop this in right there, and um, and have your testimonials on your page, and and it's I mean it's super awesome. Um, and I mean ninety per I mean only one of the plugins you had to pay for, and that's Elementor, and um, and the rest of them free um and if you wanted to get if you wanted to only use two plugins um you could actually um use uh jet engine um and in their crocobot crocoblock series of plugins um because they have a um they have um a way to create a they call it a listing and instead of a loop element and and they have a place to create a uh, um, a post type and they actually have custom fields too but uh, I, I'm just so used to ACF and so um, and that's my go-to when I custom when I customize any website um, 
so I, like I said, I try to keep keep this as free as possible. So yeah. So in this case, Jet Engine would replace the CPT UI. Is that correct? Yep. And it as would, well as it would replace this one, this one, and this one. Right. So maybe if maybe we have some Crocoblock users, and we could uh, end up calling you back and show us how to do this with uh, Jet Engine and Crocoblock. That'd be uh, nice. Hey, I'm all for it. Um, and I'm definitely, I'm definitely game for that. Um, All right. So, okay. So, so just to kind of wrap things up, what you did is you created a custom post type, added custom fields. You kind of did that before and kind of walk us through what you created. Then you went ahead and created a loop uh, template type within Elementor that you can then pop into any place where you have posts. So you use the post widget. Um, after you, I'm sorry, first you created the the kind of the template with that loop for the single type, which was a testimonial. Then you drop that into a uh, a post um, widget on any page and then assigned it to the testimonial type. And then from there, you can put that, you could drop anywhere you can drop a post type onto a page or a post with Elementor, you could drop your testimonials. And you could end up, for example, saving a particular layout with a section. Does that sound about right? That is exactly right, spot on. I mean, it's once you understand how to how to use those four plugins, um, then I mean, the, doing this is super simple. Um, Some of the gotchas you ran into, or certain specific post type, or I'm sorry, not post types, field types. For ACF, yeah. do not play well with Elementor. Yeah, That's not yet. I've, I've been tempted to contact the ACF guy and the Elementor guys to see, you know, how, you know, what we could do to make some of them work. Because um, I would love to use the repeater. I, I really, when I do custom without Elementor, which is hardly ever now, because I'm just a huge Elementor guy and now. and, and um, I, I use the it a lot, so I would really like to figure out how to make that work. Um, I know you can, I know you can make it work with um, anywhere Elementor or yeah, anywhere Elementor Pro. Um, you have to pay for it, of course, if you want to. <laughs> but I, I haven't paid for it yet to see how it integrates. But I've, I've just seen a video of somebody doing it. So, um, Great. but yeah, I mean, just to wrap up, like you were saying, uh, cause I could talk about ACF and Elementor forever. So. Great. So Cliff, why don't you go ahead and show us real quick, uh, your kind of your, your webpage and your YouTube channel so people can know where to find you and then we can go ahead and. Yeah. So, um, my website is WP Cliff Dot com. And then my you so here's my website and um, uh, so you can find me at uh, WP Cliff Notes um, dot com and as you can see I have um, these are the tutorials that I'm really trying to um, master and help people out with a lot so. And all of them have to do with ACF, if you notice, um, because I love ACF. Um, and then, of course, I've got my videos down here at the bottom. And then my YouTube channel um, is um, WP Cliff Notes. If you go to YouTube, and I think if you just try WP Cliff Notes, um, I'm the first, I'm the only person that comes up. So that's pretty awesome. And, and this is my, Welcome. my YouTube channel. So. Very nice. Well, thank you, Cliff. Appreciate you taking the time to go through and, and show us all the, uh, the fun stuff that you've been doing with Elementor, ACF and custom post types. Um, anything else, any parting words or last thing you want to tell us about? I mean, Elementor and ACF's awesome, and I really love it. Um, and you know, come check out me. Come check me out on YouTube and at my website. And um, if you need any help, um, hit me up in the Facebook group or hit me up on my YouTube channel. 
and I'm more than happy to help. So well, that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot. And I'm glad to hear that uh, after we post this, this uh, live case study, you'll be able to uh, help people out by uh, replying to comments and questions that come up there, as well as yeah. going directly and looking at some of these ACF videos over on your YouTube channel. We'll probably go, not probably, surely go into more depth and, and take yeah. a, a few different tacks on some of these things. And uh, so I encourage people to go ahead and take a look at WP Cliff Notes over on YouTube as well as his website. And thanks a lot, Cliff. Really appreciate everything. Yeah, thank you so much, Mike. Appreciate you having me on. Oh, it was a good time, and I learned a few things. I appreciate Great. it. All right. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.